Hey guys, last item from Supreme Fall Winter 2020, and this is the one I was looking forward to the most. Um, kind of a slept on item. Not a lot of people kind of maybe knew about what this was or understood its significance, but if you're even vaguely interested in watches, um, fine Swiss wrist watches, if you collect them, if you follow what that um, market is, you will instantly recognize uh, this chronograph watch face. It is of course a play on the uh, Rolex Daytona 16520 um, in the black dial, just an iconic watch um, you know that has a lot of history. If you don't know, definitely um, do, some, do some research or just Google Rolex Daytona and you will go down a rabbit hole of some just really interesting, unique history. Um, last year, the Paul Newman Daytona, uh, Paul Newman's own Newman Daytona auctioned off for several millions of dollars. And so, you know, if you know, you know. And a lot of like the, the reviewers or the, or the hype um, beasts really just, I don't think they really understood the, the importance of this watch or the importance of this item in the, um, in the minds of watch collectors, certainly people that collect Rolex. And so uh, the, the, the Daytona is a chronograph. And so, you know, it has a seconds timer, it has three subdials. And instead of saying Rolex here, it says, you know, Supreme Officially Certified Precision, Precision Chronometer, Supreme Perpetual. And then it says F U C K E M. Um, it says Supreme here. Kind of interesting. So, you know, there's a lot of like minutia in the world of vintage watches. But, you know, on the actual Daytona, this is more of like a throwback to almost like a Speedmaster, the 12 o'clock symbol. Everything else looks like Daytona to me. Uh, anyway, like I said, random item, very cool, but the, easily the most hyped item for me in, in week one and something that will definitely, definitely become a collectible in, um, for Supreme. Um, really well-made plate, very uh, heavy. It says Supreme on the back. And um, like I said, something I really like, something I'm going to display. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys like this quick look at, like I said, kind of a random item from week one that I think some people who understood its significance or who follow the world of high-end watches absolutely had to have and really thankful I was able to get it. Anyway, y'all take care. Be safe. God bless.